I started small time in my kitchen chef's game. Fish, chicken, beef, pork, prepare it all, man. My recipes will fill your bellies up with no regards. But before you take a bite, you gotta thank the Lord. Breakfast, lunch, dinner, snacks, cakes, and pies, bro. If you eat nothing, table or you're on the go. International and domestic foods up in this camp. This is my channel. What's the name? Cook it with Champ. This week, we're going to postpone the special guest chef to next week. So today I'm going to just do uh, one of my favorites, everything that I like to cook. Smothered pork chops, cabbage, rice, and gravy. We'll be back. All right, I already got my seasoned pork chops. I have I had seasoned them up and let them sit in the refrigerator for like an hour and a half, you know, let them marinate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I got my, uh, my oil, heating them all right now. My seasoned flour is always important to season your flour too. You know, you want the, the most taste out your chicken or whatever you frying to the max. So you season your flour too. Uh, that's the more that cabbage. Baby made that cabbage. So my she a beast with that cabbage. She won't give me that recipe though, and she won't let me put it down on there. So, but I'm gonna get it from her one day. I'm gonna get it from her. We gonna put it on here. And uh, just started my corn, my sweet corn. Got my rice and my rice cooked. So I'm gonna wait for this grease to get crumped, then we'll be back. Okay, I think my grease hot enough. Test it. That's how you can tell your grease hot enough. See how this? Yeah, that's on point. Okay, now all we're doing to this is brown. I really laid that in there the wrong way. Let me show you the proper way you're supposed to lay something in some hot grease. You can lay it away from it. Away from it. And now I'm going to just brown these. And then I'm going to show y'all how to do the gravy. We'll be back. Okay, uh, I'm back. I didn't drain my grease. You really typically supposed to use the same pot that you fried your, whatever you frying in. But I got too many pork chops and they wouldn't fit all in that pan. So I just took a little trimmings that I had in my pan and put it in there. I got it in some butter. Gonna uh, show y'all how to make this gravy. Put my meat and put my heat on the like medium low. That's it. Warm. I got some uh, seasoned blend, you know, onions and bell peppers. And I put a little celery in there too. And I got, this is my seasoned flour. It's probably like a half a cup, something like this. Oh, and I also got a. This is this is a beef stock with onion stock and and, and garlic stock. Probably about two three cups. I'm gonna add my flour. Mix it up in there. Let that flour soak all the way up. Okay. I'm going to add this stock in a little bit at a time. It's harder than I'm doing than I figured. Keep stirring that in. Just keep adding this a bit at a time. Keep it on up. Okay, now I just want to start, you know, I'm just 
just lay your meat in there. You want to let that simmer. typically get all your meat submerged in this. Let me put a little more water in this. But uh we're gonna come back with the finishing product and let y'all know what it do. Yeah I've been simmering for about 25 minutes. Almost 20 minutes I mean let it go about five ten more minutes. Then what oh I meant to, I meant to say I meant to say in the video when I was making the roux the graving uh if you want your gravy darker, just just leave the flour, let the flour burn a little more, and it get browner. Then you add your your liquid or your stock or your water or whatever you're gonna put in it. So we're gonna be back and show you that finished plate how it look. Yeah, it was still too much, too many pork chops for that pie, so I fried the rest of these in my air fryer. See how good that came up? When you get your air fryer, you ain't got one. Real talk. There you have it. Finished product. You know what I'm saying? Look good. See y'all next week. Have a good Sunday.